morning! I always have the brilliant idea of vlogging with you on Mondays, and Mondays are just the worst day to vlog because it's like the first day of the work week, and I always have to work like super long. But we'll give it a shot, we'll see how it goes, we'll see if we can like do something fun. All right, we are ready to go to work now. Um, it's kind of bright where I'm facing, so let's get going. Okay, burrito totally ordered. Now we just sit and wait. Just like Tom Petty said, it's the hardest part for sure. Waiting. Waiting is the hardest part. Okay, while I'm waiting for my burrito, I wanted to tell you this story. I don't encourage lying, but when I was 16, I totally told my parents I was gonna go look at colleges over the summer with a girlfriend of mine. And instead, I drove up to George Washington to the Gorge to see Tom Petty in concert. It was 1996, and I have no regrets. None whatsoever. It was my first time alone at like a huge concert in a huge venue. Everyone was smoking pot. Everyone was having the time of their life. And I was like, oh my God, this is freedom. I cannot wait till I'm 18 and I am free. And um, so then, have I ever fessed this up to my parents? Yes. The day Tom Petty died, I called mom and I said, mom, I have a confession to tell you. And this is years later, obviously. And I said, I, do you remember when I told you that me and Katie were going to go look at colleges? I didn't. I went and I saw Tom Petty in concert at the Gorge and I smoked pot. I'm so sorry, but no regrets. So that's my story. And me telling you that Tom Petty said waiting is the hardest part is totally what made me think of that story. It totally made, reminded me of that. And you really do only live once. They always say that you have no dress rehearsals. And so just do it. You know, that's my, that's the moral of this story is just do it. All right, now let's wait for my burrito. Guess what we have now? We have our burrito. This is it. Oh my God. Now, check this out. Oh, these burritos are so good. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's got eggs and potatoes bacon, ham. I'm sorry if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. I should be vegetarian with as much as I love animals and I always feel really guilty when I think about eating meat. Like when I think about where our meat comes from, which I know that we should be. Anyways, I'm not going to go off on that tangent, but oh my god, look at this. So good. Mmm, so good. Mm-hmm. I can only ever eat about half of them because they're too big, but it doesn't matter. It's delicious. Everything about it is good. The tortilla, the onions, the garlic. I mean, can you see that? That is like delicious. Oh my God. I'm like living my best life right now in the car with you eating a Ruby's burrito. I've been craving a Rube's burrito for days, for days, maybe like two weeks. And now I have one in my hot little hands. I guess the real point of my Tom Petty story was that was my first taste into what live music can really be like, you know? being among thousands of people all there for the same reason, for the same artist, having the same love, just enjoying the same things, you know, it's amazing. And I've since had numerous experiences at Fish shows, Dave Matthews Band, Pearl Jam, you know, I've been to a lot of concerts. I mean, not as many as some people. I'm not going to be like, oh, I've been to the most concerts ever. No, I've been to, I've been to a few. So we know we won't have Kenny at work today, so you guys can totally hang out with me while I'm working, or I can check in in a little bit and let you know how my work day's going. Okay, and just like that, we're in our parking spot, ready to work. Oy, okay, well, I'm gonna go up to the office and work, and I'll leave you here to not be bored.
but beautifully you won't have to see anything because it's just gonna cut right to the next scene and you're gonna be wherever I am probably. Okay, so I need to be totally honest with you right now. I have done this much work since I came to the office. I am so distracted today. I don't even know what my issue is, but I am totally not even focused. Okay, I have put this work day to bed. Now we're gonna go meet Dust for some Mexican food. Yay! Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'm kind of excited for Mexican food. <clears throat> okay, we made it. You know what I hate about Mexican restaurants is they always bring you chips and salsa. And I always love, I also love that about Mexican restaurants, but I have zero, zero self-control when it comes to chips. None, not even like an iota of self-control. And they always bring the chips and the salsa and there I sit and I always eat way too many chips and salsa and then I don't have room for my dinner and that's terrible. That's, I mean, it's not terrible. I love the warm chips and the salsa and you put some salt on the chips and oh my God, it's so good. But then I don't have room for my food and the food is usually really good too. But I just am gonna order something like tacos or something, tacos sound good. I got, Kara got these tacos one time and I got them last time and they were really good and I think I'll get them again. I can't remember what they were called, but something. So I'll get that. The chips smell absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I'm gonna get. What are you gonna get? Well, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.